Hi folks, shop update. Let's take a look at what's new and what's going on. Welcome to 2018. The Haas is banging away on our plates. Uh, one of the new and exciting things for me is we have a new digital boring head. This is not the kind that automatically updates yet. That stuff is coming, but it is amazing. And we're gonna do a whole video uh, show, kind of showing um, some of the lessons that we've learned there and on how we make uh, a lot of holes really, really, really accurately and consistently and sort of low stress, not having to worry, are you gonna ruin a product or a plate or, or chase your tail? We just started taking this Tormach 1100 apart. I've done like two different days of filming uh, what we want to be a really comprehensive maintenance video and I keep I keep diving deeper and so I really want to do a good job and we're now setting up to film both adjusting the Gibbs but also either checking or adjusting the angular contact bearing it's an awesome topic because it's something that you can do you should do and it's gonna help you make sure you're getting the absolute most out of the machine we just shipped the last of the fixture plate cover pre-orders but these things are great they protect your table um, it's been fun experimenting with different ways uh, to make them and they keep the chips out of your holes which is which has been really awesome we're machining a p20 it's like a 30 rockwell tool steel we're going to try to make uh, as a wednesday widget a centripetal mold The steel cuts beautifully. In this case, I'm using a 1 16th ball end mill, all the RPMs we've got. Um, that's gonna run for like four or five more hours, but it's been going well. And Ed is, Ed was just on this one. We gotta uh, see if we can find it. A um, door opener Wednesday widget. Ah, we'll save it, we'll save it for a surprise. But that's gonna be super cool. For those that listen to the Business of Machining podcast, you may have already heard this, but I've really been trying to improve uh, our process and you know it's funny it's not really hard to do it's it's it, that it's easy to ignore it uh, so processes when it comes to you know reliable efficient shipping how we store inventory things like just that little rack to hold the bubble stuff so that it's always there and easy and you know we we used to just keep it on the floor and it was a pain in the butt to bend down and tear some off um, I was using this incorrectly which I'm too embarrassed to talk more about and we've got some Work in progress stuff here. We had that bubble wrap staining, so we're switching to the um, paper wrap for now on our mini pallets. And then again, I just need to reorganize these once yet again. Every time we do it, it's really rewarding. And again, it's kind of that fail fast, fail cheap, where like I needed to make a quick assembly jig template for our Modvice kit. So this is super quick and dirty, a piece of cardboard, a Sharpie, and just taping stuff down. We'll improve this. Um, as we get that process nailed down. But again, it's easier for me to take something that's acceptable but needs improvement and improve on it versus to keep stalling and delaying because you're not gonna willing to do it ever until you do it absolutely perfectly. Some uh, 770 plates that are waiting to do final QC. Uh, those are 1100 plates that we're running uh, right now, today, actually. And Judd, you wanna say hi? You wanna say hi? We bought a laser, more to come on it. It's actually a really fun example of a buying a machine because we were using the local Makerspaces laser for a couple months now, engraving uh, anodized stuff. We were doing cutting acrylic, some cool acrylic projects coming up, and then the fixture plate cover. So it got to be so inefficient to be going over there and other people were on the laser, which is a great thing, but it's awesome because now you realize, okay, we need a laser. So we picked up a Boss 100 watt CO2. We'll do a video on that as well. It should come hopefully in the next week or two. Uh, and then finally, a little teaser. We are setting up at the end of the month, we're doing our first uh, two day fixturing and work holding class. So we've been pulling out, I've got this like 100 slide uh, or photograph presentation of going through examples of fixtures, methodologies, best practices. And then we've got this and we're, we're gonna be dragging some more out, stuff out as well. It'll be mostly kind of a classroom class, but we are gonna be out on the machines um, some. I'm kind of nailing down the final curriculum, but I, it's fun. I've been working on this for about a, two months now, going through this PowerPoint and digging stuff up. And it's been, it's been really cool because uh, I'm actually gonna use this. It's like you've got this repository now of really good examples 
of how to hold things and it's like you never you're never done learning how to fixture so going through it and taking the time to look back over the years at the hundreds of things we've made uh, poorly and some really well and kind of pulling from that so I think we actually do have a few spots left in that class if anyone is interested I almost forgot to mention folks one last thing head over to the new NYC CNC this is one of my big focuses for 2018 is trying to build off of the YouTube channel to put out really good content uh, speeds and feeds, Fusion 360, uh, learning CNC, what to buy. The library is really the most powerful thing, in my opinion, on this site where you're able to use the search functionality or the filters uh, because YouTube is not the best thing in the world, especially when it comes to trying to find things like troubleshooting videos on, say, you're stuck on a Fusion operation or fixturing or work holding. So my goal for this year is to end this site with just so much awesome content uh, on everything from lean operations to measuring to fixturing to tutorials and online learning and so forth. So uh, it gets me really excited. We spent so much of last year building out the infrastructure for the site, uh, and now we're really focused on that content. Otherwise, folks, take care. See you soon. You want a treat? You want a treat? Twirl? Judd, twirl. <laughs>